Hello, world. How you beautiful people doing? Another beautiful day. Yep, and Tuxedo Chris is in the building. What? <laughs> Look, um, don't feel sorry for Squaresoft when it comes to the Avengers, okay? They want to sit there talk about the, um, don't feel sorry for Squaresoft. They want to sit there talk about development costs for the Avengers. They said uh, they didn't expect the Avengers to sell well. What are they, living under a rock or something? Didn't they know that the Avengers had a fan base? Didn't they know that the Avengers had a fan base that's been following the Avenger, Avengers since the comic book days? From the, from the beginning of the comic book days? They didn't expect uh, Avengers to sell well? Let me get this straight. There's about seven to eight billion people on the earth. And a majority, I would say some, some of those people in, in that in that number of people are Avengers fans. Some are X-Men fans. Some are uh, Marvel fans. Some are DC fans. Some are, uh, <laughs> some are uh, DC Universe fans, you name it. They didn't expect this. They didn't expect the Avengers to, to sell well. Don't feel sorry for Squaresoft. Remember when I was telling you guys when um, when it comes to the Avengers, you got you got Sony the console manufacturer, Squaresoft the publisher, and then there's Crystal Dynamics the developer. So in order for Crystal Dynamics to get content out, they got to go through Square. But Squaresoft and Sony has history because Squaresoft put Sony on the map because of Final Fantasy 7 and then take it from there Sony and Squaresoft got an issue I mean not an issue but they got relations so the reason why the, the, the Avengers is failing is not because of uh, core mechanics it's because uh, uh, Square is blocking Crystal Dynamics from releasing updates to the game on time and with that the user base, user base for the Avengers trickle, trickle uh, start start to diminish. When you don't, uh, the Avengers is a live service game. So when you don't update live service games, the user base that you once have it starts to lose interest, and then all of a sudden it starts to drop. Like, ch -ch 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 -ch. okay, that's what happens to the to the Avengers. Okay, you got to keep updating that game to get the best out of it. And me personally, like I told you guys before, the only issue I had with the game. Is the fact that you couldn't take Iron Man to fly to the top of the Ames building and that you can use the Hulk to jump up to the top of the building if you wanted to and these are superheroes and like I told you guys before when I used that line in uh use that line from Batman uh, I think it was Batman Begins when Alfred said uh, know your limits Master Wayne and he was like then Bruce Wayne was like Batman has no limits okay so if a superhero has no limits why is Squaresoft stopping Crystal Dynamics from making stop stopping? Why is Squaresoft stopping Crystal Dyna, Dem, Dynamics from making the game what it's supposed to be? You know what I'm saying? So when they talk about uh, when they talk about uh, Marvel, Marvel Avengers didn't sell well as expect, expected. It's because they they kept holding up. The reason why they the game didn't sell so well because they kept holding up. They kept holding up the um, holding up the uh, the updates. You know, you can't feel, you can't fall asleep behind the wheel when it comes to live service games, games like Anthem, games like Destiny, games like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, games like World of Warcraft, games like uh, Fortnite, games like there's so there's so many of them. So when it comes to live service games, you got to keep the updates. You got to keep the updates the updates coming in. You have to. It's, it's mandatory, you know, and you fall asleep behind the wheel, then you see what happens, you know. I mean, look at look at Bungie with Destiny; they had screwed up, and they had to get on the get on the ball, you know, with that game. You can't you can't fall asleep behind the wheel with a uh, with a live service game, man. So the Avengers uh, uh, fan base, the Avengers fan base is big, you know. It's not no it's not no it's not no small potato type type fan base that fan base is huge so Square, Squaresoft should have known Squaresoft and Sony should have known that the Avengers fan base is big and for them to be holding up the game just because Spider-Man is not in the game like I told you guys before 
Spider-Man is not an Avenger. He never was. You know what I'm saying? It's just that the times we're living in, you know, uh, you know, Hollywood decided to put Spider-Man in it, but he was never an Avenger. He never was. So, um, it's a shame that the game is going through this, but I hope they pick up the pace and start really updating this game because the game got a lot of promise to it. And they, and they got to stop uh, limiting the freedom of the superheroes. You know, limiting the freedom of movement. You know? Because, like I said, like I told you before, I was disappointed when I seen how far you can fly up with Iron Man. I'm like, what? You can't fly to the top of the building? So that was on call. That need to be fixed. You know? So, um, the game needs an update. They, they got to continue uh, updating the game on a regular basis every month. You know? And that's just the way it is. I mean, if they lose money because of what, because of the situation, because of the way the Avengers is now, is because they weren't updating the game like they were supposed to be. But anyway, um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for this article so you guys can read it. But nice talking to you, beautiful people. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Board, dark side. Um, Kong. Peace.